Hello! To fix overheating issues on your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, first things first, make sure that you are not really using the mobile hotspot, since the mobile hotspot uh, generates, generates a lot of excessive heat, and it's actually a normal feature, a normal side effect from this mobile hotspot, and a lot of different phones also generate a lot of heat uh, while this mobile hotspot feature is on. Um, but if it's not the case, uh, you can also check if you are not wireless charging your phone, I mean, you're not charging your phone using the wireless charger, since it's also um, producing a lot of heat uh, while charging, and it's just a side effect, everything is like, alright, it's a normal uh, feature, just a side effect, but it also generates a lot of heat for your phone, and the same, up the same thing applies to the fast charging feature uh, with the wired charging. It also, when your phone is fast charging, it might also uh, heat up, and it might also be the case for this phone, maybe not to overheat, but just uh, heat up and in case you are concern, in, concerned about it, there's no need to because it's normal. But if it's not the case uh, for you, then I recommend to go into the settings. From here, scroll down, go into the battery. And right here, there is the tab with these applications uh, of the battery usage. And as you can see here is the list of the applications, how much battery they used and so. And if there are some applications which use a lot of battery, or for example, they're just like uh, applications that which you are not using, you can go back right here to this up battery up battery settings and go into the background usage limits. And from here, go into the deep sleep apps, and you can put right here by pressing pressing this plus icon. You can add these applications which you are not using, uh, or you're use or you're using but not a lot of times. You can simply put them into the deep sleep, and this basically will uh, uh, make applications never run in the background. Only when you will open them, they will work. Um, you can, I can also recommend you to actually, from going out from the battery, go scroll down into the settings and go into device care. And right here, uh, as we go into the performance profile, right here we can change this performance profile to light since it prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency over the processing speed. And as we know, the um, high processing speed and like a lot, a big usage of the resources might also produce a lot of heat and it's also recommended to simply use this performance profile, uh, the light performance profile. And what can we also find here? Uh, if you're using um, some applications, I mean, if there are applications running in the background, you can also check um, the memory in this device care and simply clear up your uh, RAM memory, since as you can see, there are some applications which are basically occupying this RAM memory. It's not, it's not needed and it might also take part in the uh, heat, excessive heat uh, making, so we can try to clean up your memory and you can also take a look if you are up to date, if your software is up to date and you simply in the settings have to scroll all the way down and here is the software update, let's go in there and uh, as you press download and install, the, you'll actually check for the software update and as you can see the software is up to date, everything is fine and also this basically when there's some update and there's some software issue or something like this Samsung might fix it and it's um, better to actually uh, have this software up to date and it might pro probably actually even fix this issue when you have it and um, what I can also recommend you is to actually take a look and if you are not using for example the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth or the location services or also there is the NFC somewhere the NFC. If you're not using them, actually it is recommended to turn them off completely since they might also um, use your uh, resources, CPU resources and other stuff and produce some heat since this basically when you're having Wi-Fi uh, connections and mobile data actually turned on, um, your phone is constantly connecting with uh, the network and it might also uh, pro to produce some heat. So in case you are not really using it, it's also recommended to actually disable this, uh, these, uh, these things. And basically I think that's all of the tips I can give you and unfortunately if you are still having issues with the overheating of with the constant heating of your phone, I recommend to actually contact with the uh, Samsung and ask for the possible uh, fixes for this problem. Thank you for watching.